the network. Uh, something else that uh that bothers me is uh, grind your gears. It's just boy, y'all artists, boy, boy. <laughs> These artists be bothering me. Um, you know, a lot of artists. When they are, well, I've noticed because, you know, I have a show coming up and I have artists sending me stuff. And if you call yourself an artist, right, I'm going to need you to have recent music. I have artists right now that's sending me stuff from 2016, right? And I'm like, and you're saying that you're an artist right now. So there, there ain't no way that you don't have up-to-date music. So for all of you guys, and now I'm not saying that promoting. Well, it sounds great, though. So is it like this because it sounds old or just the fact that it was created back then? The fact that, first of all, I feel like sometimes, a lot of times, music gets dated. So you can hear a song and the beat, the vibe, it feels like something from years ago. You know what I mean? And with this show in particular, I had multiple artists sending me stuff. Now I have requirements like I need you to have a video, all of this. So all of it looked old mm -hmm. you know what i mean like all of it look old and i'm like what do you have that's right now are you are you still an artist or are you just you just saw you, opportunity it was yeah, like oh, you know what I mean? yeah. so it's like if you're a person and you're reaching out to people because you're trying to get placements um you're trying to get booked for things like people want to see what have you done recently you know what have you done for me lately? Like what have you done lately? If you trying to get booked for shows, you can and you you can't send me anything that's up to date. That kind of tells me as a booking agent, as a promoter, like if you don't even got nothing recent, that tells me you probably don't even got no fans right now, or you don't have nobody mm -hmm. moving for you. Right? It, it's just like a bad look, man. Right. So it's like, yeah. first of all, artists should be recording or, or producing music on a regular basis. Now, there's no like, oh, you need to bust down a song once a week or release a song once a month. But you definitely should be recording and creating music, if this is what you do for a living, on a, a continue it's basis. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like if you are an artist and you don't really have anything new, maybe your thing right now is to get a project together. Create some new music. Get your, your imagery together. Get your presence together. Maybe you are trying to go through a rebranding phase and maybe that's one reason why you kind of took a moment off. But like you got to hit people with some stuff with right now. And, and stop yeah. like sending all of this old, super old music that sounds outdated. The visuals look outdated. You know, in the video you had braids, and now you got a, a, a cut like Brand Man Sean. You know what I mean? You you sending me pictures where you had locks, and now you got a low cut. Like everything has to translate with who you are right now. Because if you want people to promote you as who you are, like, and we're putting out flyers and we're putting out content, and then people are seeing like people that look two different, like two different people, it don't correlate. Like it don't go together. So we need to update everything. You need new music. Now is the time to start working on something new. Get some fresh sounds. Mm. You know, get everything that's that's new. I can say, as in, like to artists, what you're hearing right now is the type of person you want to do business with. Because the people who don't care about those things, the quality of their show or whatever they're doing in the other spaces is going to be on the same level. So if they're not caring and holding you to those standards, yes, you can say, oh, I got in. But now you can also expect those low standards to be in the other aspects. So it's actually not worth being a part of that thing in the first place. So you want the people that you do business with to hold people to those type of standards, to have barriers to the level and quality of artists and the other people they do business with. Because I've definitely been through that, um, especially when I was doing my festival. That's my biggest, biggest experiences with artists and things like that. Mm -hmm. For one, even if the music doesn't sound outdated and isn't whack, you have the idea, just from a business standpoint, am I trying to put an artist out there and promote an artist that isn't active, exactly. right? They're not committed and they're not, you know, constantly working towards their career because it's like, yeah, I believe in you, but I'm not your manager trying to build you up, right. right? So I want, like, my incentive is to have an artist that's dope right now and for that artist to continue to be dope and enlarge in their platform because now I'm associated with that. That's how the people who are throwing events or doing certain things are going are going to be thinking. So it's in your best interest or in their best interest to work with people who are currently active, currently grinding and doing work without them 
because now I can add my sauce onto it. And then if people really see you doing that stuff, they'll add something extra or they'll really, oh man, this artist is dope. And I think this artist is going somewhere. I see the momentum. Mm -hmm. Let me get him on because I want to let everybody know about him. And I want them to know that I was the one that told them about him. Right. You know what I mean? But you have to put yourself in a position to look like that. Because then people will start coming to you more or doors are open for you a lot faster. Right. And from a, uh, like a fan standpoint, like if if you if somebody hears a song, right, I just hear a song, but now I want to look you up. So I go look you up on YouTube. People look at dates. I know I do. Like I look at like when was this video posted? You know what I mean? And it and it video especially, yeah. Right. And it and it makes it's me less on Spotify though. I feel like. Right. On it's less on Spotify, but I feel like a lot of people well, I know me personally. I think when I listen to something new, I'm always trying to find the visual because me I'm just activated visually. Like mm -hmm. I like to see something, you know, sometimes you watch videos and it makes you like a song more because you've seen some type of visual to it and it mm -hmm. kind of like en engage with you to it like reeled you in versus you just hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like a lot of people will go and start to look you up. And I'm one of those people. Like, I go to YouTube because I want to see, like, what your visuals look like. Especially when I hear an artist that I, I don't know who this person is. Like, I want to see what you look like. You know what I mean? So I'll go to YouTube and search for some type of video. And then I always look at the date. Like, is this video, is like, is this a recent artist? If it's old, what does it mean to you? Like, if it's, if it's old and I can't find anything that's recent, it makes me feel like I'm wasting my time. Oh, and and you can't find something recent. Right, and I True. can't find something recent. I'm just like, okay, well, that. maybe this artist's not even doing music no more. So, like, right. what's the point? You know uh, what I'm oh, saying? Oh, dang, they were dope. They could have went somewhere and did something. But yeah, it's yeah, like you yeah. got me all hyping and side, all hot and bothered. You know what I mean? And, and then just let me down. I'm unfinished. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Incomplete. <laughs> oh, <we took> it. <laughs> so, it's like, boy, you got to come with the package. And, and you should want to <laughs> not pause. I don't know if y'all say pause. <laughs> Whatever. But it's like, yo, before you... It's like, yo, a lot of um, your artists are constantly reaching out to people to, to, like, put you on and do this and do that. And then they're asking you, like, okay, send me what you got. Send me pictures. Send me this. Send me that. And it's like, you just don't have nothing recent. So it makes people feel like they're wasting their time yeah. trying to to put into you, you know what I mean, when you don't even, you know, clear, it looks like you're not putting into yourself. So. No, nah, 100%. Like, I, I still always go back to this artist who rejected him for his show. And I was like, bruh, you don't have anything. Right. Like, literally... I couldn't tell he was an artist from looking at his Instagram. I couldn't find music. Like, he literally had nothing. And then this artist had the nerve to get mad and say, look, man, you don't know what you're missing out on. I was going to debut my music at your event. And I was oh, like, oh. no, the hell you weren't. This <laughs> 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 shit don't work like that. <laughs> you think I'm a risk? My credibility on right. something that I have no idea about. So... I, I don't understand how artists put themselves in that position to to think of themselves. I, I get the having to build up confidence, and that becomes a part of the game sometimes. But the level, the gall that some of these people have, like an, as far as not understanding the other side of the business mm -hmm. and the value that you need to be bringing, not just to fans, but to these to the other people, what what matters to them. Right. The more you can put yourself into the mind state of the person you're doing business with, understanding their business model and just what matters to them, the more you can make it easy for yourself to be a value to them and to um, just just create a relationship that actually gets an impact.